we're dealing with is I had CD, let's use my colors, I had CD and FG. What did I do to each side? I added DE. Okay, so I added a property. Good. Now I'm going to add one more step here. I'm going to squeeze this in. CD plus DE equals FG plus EF. How can I go from this to this? What did I change? Always look at what did I change. That stayed the same. That stayed the same. FG stayed the same. DE, EF. What did I do? I did a substitution. Okay. Now you did this. That's fine. If you guys want to tackle this next step that way, you definitely can. And then what he did is I said, he said, I see a C, CD plus DE, which is right there. Same thing as C, this should be CE. Should be CE. And this one should be EG. You get a substitution. Okay. So here's, here's what I would do. If you have parts that are the same, add them up to get a bigger thing that's equal. And I'll, I'll do an example of here real quick. Okay. Can you pass it back to Aiden, please? Thank you. Um, which else one did we have? 27. Was that a proof, too? Any volunteer on 20? Come on up, sir. Come on down. It's like the price is right. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'm going to draw a picture. Um, and it's kind of hard to see. He's a, he's a light writer, which is fine. Darken that up a little bit. Can you see it at all? Okay. A, B, C. I'm sorry, but that was funny. Timing was perfect. It was great. Okay, so for the given information, it looks like you wrote different given than they have. Okay, so they had given information AC equals DF and AB equals DE. And now I'm going to label this. AB is the same as DE. AC is the same length as DF. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> Just trying to follow the logic of what you're doing here, bud. Because whenever we use a substitution, I'm looking at up here, what can I substitute in for what? I don't see any equation that we've substituted anything. Is this. Oh. Oh, okay. This should be maybe AB plus BC. Okay. This is kind of a couple steps in one here. AC and DF are the same. So you had AC is the same as AB plus BC. So you substituted AB plus BC for that. You substituted for that. But it should be DE plus EF. And we need another substitution. 
I'm just going to go ahead and fix this. I'm going to replace AB with DE. No. And this should stay DE. Okay. So he did it. He just did it a little bit differently than I did. So you're not too far off, really. So AB plus BC, that's the top segment. DE plus EF, that's the bottom segment. Those two are equal. And then if we make a substitution, let's replace AB with DE. Now I've got a DE on both sides. Since I got the same thing on both sides, what can I do with it? Subtract it. And then I'll get down to BC equals EF. So not totally off base. So um, would the, if I wanted to rewrite this just a little bit, I would probably go like this. Okay, I would have those two facts, and then I would come to here. I would say AB plus BC equals DE plus EF. What allows me to make those changes? Okay, think about this. Come on. Segment addition. I took AC, replaced with the sum of its parts. Took DE, replaced with the segment of its parts. It's a segment addition. So now let's take AB and replace it with DE. What did I do? Substitution. And now I got DE on both sides. What can I do? BC. So not too bad, you just had a couple of your letters off. See what I'm saying? Okay, back to him if you would, please. Okay. So, I'm going to take a little bit of practice, there's no doubt about it. And you guys aren't any different from any, any groups that I've had in the past. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to make sure that, let's talk about um, a midpoint. This is one of the things that you're going to use in proofs all the time. If um, B is midpoint of AC, then AB equals BC. Okay? So how are we going to use that? We're going to use it in two different ways. Okay. If I would say P uh, Z T, if somebody would tell me in the given the Z is midpoint of P T given, and they go from that to P Z equals Z T. Why are these two the same? Why are these two the same? Because these are the midpoint, right? Because the midpoint. That's just by the midpoint definition or definition of midpoint. I don't care which order you go. And anytime I put that in a proof, I'm going to label it on my drawing. Okay? Or, we're going to do this a different way. If we have down here, and here's my picture, AQS. If I have AQ equals QS, what can I conclude? If AQ and QS are the same, what can, Q is the midpoint. Why? Definition of midpoint. Because that's what a midpoint is. Definition of midpoint. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do with the time we have left. We're forced to leave at 43. Let's go. <laughs> Excuse me. We're going to do this page 148 
number. Oh, I kind of like that. We're going to try number 12, but I'm going to give you a hint. And I'm interested to see kind of how you guys do this. It says prove that A equals 4AB. Well, what might lead to that is if AE equals AB plus AB plus AB plus AB. So this is going to be my hint for you is it's going to be a couple definition of midpoints, but then it's going to be substitution extravaganza. And just do substitution one at a time. Don't try and substitute five different things. Just try and do substitution one thing at a time. Okay. And let's see. Um, we already did those. The next section is going to be easier. The next section... The seg segment section, people are always just like, ugh, ugh. I want to start with page 156, numbers, and I've got, an, I've got enough time to do an example, so that's good. That's very good. Okay. Um, only four problems. We're going to do one example right now. Okay. So, there's my draw. And then we'll give you some time. Okay. So, let's say if I said this, let's just do one that's hopefully fairly straightforward. Four, five, um, If I say my given measure angle 4 equals 3x minus 3, and then measure angle 5 equals x plus 7. Okay? Look at the drawings. What do we know about angles 4 and 5? They add up to 180, right? Okay. So I would write down measure angle 4 plus measure angle 5 equals 180. Why? From the drawing, what kind of angles are 4 <laughs> and or what, what kind of pair are they? Linear pair. They're a linear pair. That's why I know they add up to 180. Okay. So now, in place of angle 4, I'll put 3x minus 3. In place of angle 5, I'll put x plus 7. What property allows me to do that? Substitution. I took angle 4 out and put in what it's equal to. Put in angle, took out angle 5, put in what it's equal to. So substitution. Okay. Now let's go 4x plus 4 equals 180. What did I do? Combine like terms. Okay. So then 4x equals 176. What did I do? Subtraction. And x equals 45. 44 by division. So once I find x, then it's saying find the measure of each numbered angle. Um, so then, then you're done with this. Now just go ahead and find each angle. Like if I take 44, plug it back in, 44 plus 7 gives me 51. Okay. 
obviously my drawing's not to scale. If I plug in 44 here, I get 132 minus 3, gives me 129. That's what you're going to do on 11 through 13. L list a fact and why you know that's true based upon your drawing, and then substitute and solve. Okay? That's exactly what we need today. That's exactly what we need. Okay? So. That is it.